Heroes and History Gaylord Nelson and Earth Day Read to you by Carol Brigham Scientists say that the Earth is 4.6 billion years old. It has been a wonderful Mother Earth to us humans and many other living things. But mothers' children have not always taken good care of her. The U.S. 50 Years Ago Fifty years ago, there weren't many laws against air and water pollution. Gasoline for cars contained lead. Cars got only 13 miles to the gallon of gas. Cities dumped garbage in the ocean and sewage in the rivers. Factories dumped toxic waste into rivers. The water in lakes and rivers was not safe to drink, and the fish were not safe to eat. There were big mountains of garbage outside of many large cities. Incinerators burned trash. Dirty smoke filled city air. Smog, in some cities, made people's eyes burn and gave children asthma. There were no strict rules about drilling for oil in the ocean near the shore. Most people knew that pollution was bad for people's health. Many small groups had tried to get the government to pass laws. The small groups did not have much power to do anything. Governor Gaylord Nelson Gaylord Nelson was governor of Wisconsin from 1959 to 1963. He helped create many state laws to protect the environment. Later, he became a U.S. Senator. Senator Nelson tried to get laws to protect the whole country's water and air, but other congressmen were not interested. The 1969 Oil Spill In 1969, an oil rig was drilling in the ocean near Santa Barbara, California. The rig exploded. Three million gallons of thick, ugly oil covered beautiful beaches. It killed thousands of birds and sea mammals. It was the largest oil spill that had ever happened in the United States. The First Earth Day When Senator Nelson saw the oil spill, he got angry. He knew things had to change. He noticed how college students at that time had organized teach-ins, marches, and protests against the war in Vietnam. These young people had tremendous energy. He invited college students to help wake up the whole country. He inspired hundreds of universities and cities to plan the first Earth Day in 1970. It was not a government program. It was a people's program. That year, 20 million Americans attended teach-ins and demonstrations. 10,000 schools, 2,000 colleges, and 1,000 communities took part in that first Earth Day. People learned that the Earth was in trouble. That first Earth Day taught the government that we needed laws to protect the environment. By the end of the year, Congress passed the Environmental Protection Act. It also passed the Clean Air, Clean Water, and Endangered Species Acts. A lot has been accomplished since then, but there is still a lot more to do. To subscribe to Easy English News, and for more information on our supplementary materials and other works by Elizabeth Clare, visit our website, elizabethclare.com.